Welcome to Lucian, day two of making an iPhone game in 30 days. Okay, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Obviously a very busy day. The first thing to do was to set up Mac, which was done pretty swiftly, no problems. The next thing to do was to download the iPhone SDK from apple.com slash developer. That was done pretty smoothly too. Um, signing up with your iTunes account. Uh, which gives you uh, your basic developer membership, which is free, but you can download the SD SDK and play around in iCode, sorry, in Xcode. And the next thing I thought to do before we dig in any further was to apply for the um, developer program, which gives you access to the portal, and from there you can publish games, and obviously you have the tools needed to test games on an actual iPhone, or applications, and so on. I thought this can take quite a while, so I thought probably be best thing to do straight away. Um, so I paid my £59.99p, um, equivalent of $99.99, um, and didn't hear for the rest of the day, which I wasn't really expecting to, apart from the I, um, the Apple Store receipt I got saying that they've received my money. Okay, and so then what I did next, um, after downloading the SDK, that was finished. Um, digging straight into this programming in Objective-C. Um, currently, quick um, navigation here, I'm on page 111 of 556. Um, and what I've learned so far, um, I've just been doing console programming, it's not actually for the iPhone yet, it's for uh, native Mac programs on Mac OS X. Um, and I'm just running in a console at the moment and I'm doing things like loops, if statements, um, switches, fours, um, and that sort of thing. Um, that's all running pretty smoothly at the moment. Um, haven't used any sort of cocoa whatsoever yet. Um, so I'm just trying to do one thing at a time. Um, get my knowledge of Objective-C up um, before I need to combine that with other things as such. Um, what is useful about the SDK? There's lots of examples you can look around and there's unfortunately only one actual game as such which is very simple uh, but you can look around the code in that. Um, what surprised me was the amount of different files which are used which um, which is new for me. Usually I'm all my codes in one sort of source file um, and this is scattered over like 20 different files which took me a bit of a shock. Um, so at the moment I'm just doing uh, Objective-C code in one sort of script, r um, making them as Mac, Mac programs, which are, which are running very basically things like calculators and so on. Um, something arrived in the post today, from friends at Amazon, has been before, but for the sake. What we have here is the delightful read of um, Cuckoo Programming for Mac OS X, the third edition, um, by Aaron Hillegas. Again, sorry for the pronunciation. Um, this is a read of 433 pages, and self explanatory, I assume, or I hope even, will tell me how I can link Windows up to code and how that can be um, shown or how I, how I can make that through different files as such. Anyway, that's what that's for. Um, the dilemma I have at the moment, it's not necessarily the size of both of these books combined which, um, you know, bearing 500,000 pages or so, um, is what to do first. I'm not sure how much Objective-C code I need to know before I start confusing things more by adding in Cocoa into it. Um, so what I'm going to just do for today is carry on writing more Mac programs for OS X. Um, and tonight I'll have a little look into this and see where we can end up. I have some good news though. Um, today I heard back from Apple saying I have been accepted into the developer program which is great because I've heard these long stories that it's taken ages. 
um, but most of them were probably in the beta launch. Anyway, after some time on their portal, um, you have to set up a lot of things. You have to set up your team, which is me at the moment. Um, you have to set up your certificates, your devices, your app ID, um, your provisions, um, and later on for distribution. Um, there's lots of handy guides on the web, on on the portal to how to do this, but it's a bit time consuming. Um, but the main thing, if you find it's not working after you've done all these different tasks, is wait a while, switch the system off, wait an hour or so, go back into it. My system found it fine afterwards. And what I've been able to do now, on my iPhone here, right here, um, I have, as well as my normal programs here, I've got. There were two spaces down here. Um, one, this white one, you won't be able to test, I'm not sure the focus is very good on this. That's a little better. Um, the white one's called test. And this is a blank template of an application. When I click on it, we get this snazzy, rotating, colorful square. That's the default project. Um, so I've managed to put that on from my Mac mini um, onto here. So all the certificates and provisions are working fine. And the other one is the crash landing demo. Which is going to be hard to show you because the accelerometer needed uh, terribly. You have to hold the phone flat to not use your thrusters. Anyway. Okay, day two I've got um, officially applications onto the device, none which I've edited whatsoever. So it's none of my own work. Okay, this is the start of day two. Um, today I'm going to read up some more on Objective-C. Uh, a bit of cocoa later on. Um, and what I'm actually going to try and do by the end of the day is get some edited applications working on here. Um, like try and write a Hello World from scratch was like. Um, which is a lot more difficult than it usually is, if I found out. Um, so anyway, so for now, I'll give you another report tomorrow morning of what's happened today and what I'm planning to do onwards. Thanks for watching once more. Now I just got to find my controller.